9 volt batteries are commonly used in electronic test equipment, medical devices, remote controls, small radios, toys, as well as many other electronic devices. Today we're going to be testing the top two name brand 9 volt batteries, Energizer and Duracell to see which battery lasts longer. Both 9 volt batteries were purchased at my local hardware store that's a fairly new store. Many Energizer and Duracell batteries sold at much lower prices on eBay and Amazon are usually fakes. So by purchasing these at my local hardware store where I actually know the person that works there you can be assured that these 9 volt batteries are from a reputable supplier. I believe the Energizer is also available in an Energizer Industrial and an Energizer Ultra and the Duracell is also sold as a Procell and Duracell Quantum. We're just going to be testing the basic Duracell against the basic Energizer which is the Energizer Max. If you enjoy my battery testing videos then be sure to share the video link on social networking sites. If you'd like to see a certain type of battery or cell tested then be sure to leave a comment. If enough people rate your comment up I'll make a video for that battery or cell. Okay let's start by taking a closer look at the Energizer 9 volt battery. The Energizer Max has a 5 year shelf life guarantee and as you can see right here after removing the 9 volt battery from the packaging the Energizer 9 volt battery is made in Malaysia and right over here you can see December of 2024 that is the shelf life or date that this 9 volt battery is guaranteed to be fresh until. Now let's take a look at the Duracell. As you can see right here the Duracell has a 5 year storage life guarantee. Right over here you can see the storage date it says March of 2025 and that's only 3 months longer than the Energizer. And right down here you can see it's made in Malaysia just like the Energizer. Now let's take a look at the data sheets. You can see Energizer 522. Over here classification alkaline zinc manganese dioxide. That's the chemistry and 9 volts is a nominal voltage. Operating temperature between minus 18 C and 55 C. Typical weight 45 grams and over here is the 5 year shelf life at 21 C or right around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Now over here it says milliamp hours capacity continuous discharge down to 4.8 volts. Now 4.8 is really ridiculous because most electronics when the voltage of this battery drops down to around 7 volts you're going to have a warning that the battery needs to be changed. So 4.8 is really ridiculous. I'd like to test it down to maybe six and a half volts or seven but we will go by this data sheet when I do the testing. We'll go down fairly low to that 4.8 or 5 volt range. Right here is discharge in milliamps, 10 milliamp, 25 as well as 50. At the lower rate, 10, it's going to give you right around 600 milliamp hour capacity for that Energizer Max and over here for the 25 it looks like it's around 575 on this scale milliamp hours and for the 50 it's around 425 milliamp hours. Down here you can see industry standard test 21C or 70 Fahrenheit and they're not using constant current to give you the milliamp hour capacity for the 9 volt battery. What they're doing is they're using a constant level of resistance. So right here it's set at 270 ohms this one's set at 620. Over here it's much higher, 10K or 620. So clearly the higher level of resistance is going to give you much more runtime from that 9 volt battery. And a lower level of resistance is going to give you less time. Here you can see size 9 volt 6LR61, also known as an MN1604 alkaline manganese dioxide battery. And the same nominal voltage, 9 volts impedance the internal resistance is actually 1.7 ohms we're going to take a look at both of these in a minute the weight is right about the same 45 grams we'll take a look at that as well and over here you can see storage temperature between 5 C and 30 or 41 Fahrenheit and 86 degrees Fahrenheit operating temperature minus 20 C to 54 C so minus 4 Fahrenheit up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit and that operating temperature range is almost the same as the Energizer Max. 
right over here you can see the constant current discharge test the one on the left is a 2 milliamp and 10 and on the right it's much higher 50 milliamp hour 100 milliamp hour and 250 milliamp hour we are not going to be testing at these very high rates if anything we'll be testing around 40 or 50 milliamp hours so right in the middle between all of these to start we're going to measure the voltage for each one of the 9 volt batteries out of their package okay let's take a look at the door cell first 9.7 and now the energizer 967 so both very close in starting voltage some people think that the weight of the battery has an effect on the capacity so let's see if they're close in weight. Try the Energizer first. 45.2, eh, very close to what they said. And now the Duracell. Very close, only 0.3 grams difference. All right, let's take a look at internal resistance. 2.52, that's a little higher than the 1.7. And now let's take a look at the Energizer. 2.69 ohms, so even a little higher than the Duracell. Now to test the 9 volt batteries, I decided to do a 35 milliamp drain. Constant current. I did not want to do a 50, it's a little high. And I did not want to do a 10, because I do not want to wait 50 to 60 hours for the test to complete. So we're going to be doing something near the middle. We're going to be doing 35. When that test is performed, we're going to discharge down to 5 volts. We are not going to do 4.8. Actually, 5 volts is ridiculous because, like I said earlier, anything under 6.5 to the 7 range is not going to allow your 9-volt device to work properly. So even at 5 volts, it's really a waste. But we're going to do it to 5 volts because that's the industry standard test. And if you take a look over here, you can see on the Duracell, it's the exact same thing, down to five volts. Now to perform the test, I'm going to be using this highly accurate dual channel electronic load. Channel one, right over here, is going to be Duracell. And when I push this button right here, that's channel two, and that's going to be the Energizer nine volt battery. To perform this test, it's going to take many hours, and every so often I'm going to be recording the voltage for each one of these batteries. Okay, let me connect up the cables to each battery, and then we're going to power each one on by pushing on one and on two. Channel one, the door cell is 9.696 volts, and the energizer is 9.669 volts. Let me push power on and power on for number two. And after about five minutes on channel one, which is the Duracell, we're down to 9.18, 35 milliamp current draw, and you can see the power is 320 milliwatts. Now let's take a look at the Energizer, channel two, and you can see the same thing over here, 0.035, which is 35 milliamps, 9.16, and 320 milliwatts. After the test is complete, you're going to see the amp hour capacity for each one of the batteries at the top. I'll just change between channel one and channel two so we could take a look at the difference. And it's been running for a while. We're at 7.559 volts for channel one. You can see 141 milliamp hours. And for channel two, we're at 7.562 volts and the same 141 milliamp hours. The testing is now complete. Let's take a look at the chart and compare the discharge curves for Energizer and Duracell. As you can see by looking at this chart, the Duracell is that reddish brown solid line and the Energizer is the dotted green line. The Duracell lasted 14 hours and 42 minutes. The capacity was 515 milliamp hours and the Energizer lasted 12 hours and 20 minutes over two hours shorter than the Duracell to get to that five volt termination voltage, and the capacity was 432 milliamp hours. The Duracell outperformed the Energizer by 19.2%. Some people may be concerned about Duracell's leaking, 
and that is true especially for the cylindrical 1.5 volt batteries, but I observed it much less on the 9 volts. I hope this test helps many of you out in the future. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to rate thumbs up, share, and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.